FBS in Russia. Joining me today in this webinar, in this live session, is Air Marshal Dr. Pavan Kapoor, who is the Vice Chairman of Rus Education, and Professor Anton Olegovich, who is the Dean for International Students at Orenburg State Medical University. I welcome you both to this live session. So first of all, I would like to request Air Marshal Dr. Pavan Kapoor to give a brief overview about why this exam is necessary, what are the changes that have been made by Indian government in this exam, and uh, is it definitely a plus or a pro or a con to have this kind of examination for Indian students who wish to study MBBS either in India or in abroad? So, sir, please, I request you to take over. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Dinesh, and uh, we welcome Professor Anton, the Dean of uh, Arunbhak State Medical University. And uh, we welcome all of you, dear students, to be here with us. I know it is a very important session for all of you. So before I begin, let me just say a few, few nice words about Professor Anton, who has been uh, not only a good friend, a dear friend, but has been actually instrumental in trying to make renewed efforts in Orenburg State Medical University for ensuring that all our students who go there they have a better chance of passing this foreign medical graduate examination. I will come to that point a bit later, but we are very glad to welcome you, Professor Anton, in this particular webinar. So thank you for being here with us. Well, dear students, let me just tell you, foreign medical graduate examination is an examination which is conducted by the National Board of Examination uh, in India. This examination is meant for you to uh, qualify so that you can be registered in India in the National Medical Commission or the State Medical Council so that you can practice your profession in this country. Now, this is generally done with a view to standardize the quality of medical professional entering this country. Most of you I know are apprehensive of the examination. We all know that is the Examination requires 300 questions to be answered, and the pass percentage is 150 is the qualifying marks. That means you must get 50% marks to qualify in this examination. Now, having said that, you all worry about the difficulty levels. We all see statistics. Let me tell you, statistics is to befool others and to blindfold you, because statistics can never be applied across the board. I can say 101 thing that 99% chances are that I will die of cancer after another 20 years, but there is 1% of the chance that I will not die of cancer after 20 years. Okay, so you cannot predict statistics. However, there are statistics and statistics say that 25% of students, maximum 25% of students pass the foreign medical graduate examination. It's very difficult to pass. And the other types of notions and perceptions that they're in the mind of the people. Now, let me tell you one thing. Yes, in, the, in a, any examination, any people appear, the passing percentage may vary from 15 to 25%. But it does not mean in your second attempt, you will not pass. In your third attempt, you will not pass. The foreign medical graduate examination as on date has innumerable number of attempts. So many students pass in their second attempt and third attempt. Provided you have prepared for it, provided you have put in that extra effort to pass this examination, provided you know that you have that passion to practice your science in this country. So if you have all these three things, nobody can stop you. Let me be very clear on this. But this examination is there and you have to pass. There are various ways of passing. And I also want to tell you all that before I will go on to what this examination is going to happen in the future. It may be slightly changed format, but the examination patterns will virtually remain the same, except it may be delivered in a different fashion. So before I come to that, I would you know, like to apprise you all that this foreign medical graduate examination may be changed or modified to the national exit test from next year onwards, that means from 2023, it might be converted into national exit test because that is the mandate given to the National Medical Commission as per the statutory act that has been implemented in this country. 
So today when you come back, it is called foreign medical graduate examination because it is meant only for foreign graduates who pass their medical degrees or obtain their medical degrees from foreign medical institutions. But from next year onwards, the national exit test will be applicable both to domestic graduates as well as foreign medical graduates. So we will be all seen with the same standardized eyes like you are doing it today. You feel you are discriminated that you are having to sit for an examination where Indian students do not appear for the examination. The national exit test will be same for all of you. That test will be in two parts. The national exit test, part one, will be a multiple choice question based test, just like a foreign medical graduate. But that test will be given over a period of three days in which you will have all specialities like medicine in the morning, then pediatrics in the afternoon, surgery and allied subjects in the morning on the next day, and evening ENT. On the third day, OBS and gynae and evening ophthalmology. This is how the pattern of the test will be there with a total of around 540 multiple choice questions. This is so far the you know, feedback that we are getting from the National Medical Commission. The exact nature of test, we do not know till the time it is delivered. Okay. Now, following this next part one, you will get be once you clear that you will be allowed to be provisionally registered in India and you can do your internship in India. After completion of your one year internship, you have to appear for next part two, which will be the practical examination. It will be only qualified a pass or fail. So your national exit test part one will make you eligible for provisional registration, will make you eligible for post graduation because these marks will be considered for your post-graduation and will also make you eligible for your internship. And next part two will result in your getting your, getting your permanent registration and be eligible for appearing for your PG or for your residency selection. This is in brief. Now let me come to a few things that Orenburg State Medical University has been regularly taking steps to ensure that the pass percentages in foreign medical graduate examination are better than the rest. How better? That I'm sure Professor Anton will share with you. What is Orenburg State Medical University doing that is different from other universities that is making the pass percentages better? This, I think the best person to tell you will be Professor Anton himself. So I request Professor Anton to please take over from now onwards and let us know what is the magic pill that you are churning out to ensure that the past percentages become, are becoming better and better over the years. Over to you, Professor Anton. Thank you, Dr. Pawan. <clears throat> I want to tell you thanks for your good words about me and each time I, I will start every, uh, my speech with good words to you. Thank you for your great job, first of all, because each year we made this um, uh, functional exhibition and we show results of our work. We try to give all uh, uh, needful information uh, for parents, for future students. So we try to show even in online format uh, how our university works and second year we make specific, maybe small, but specific topical um, presentations about our work. Uh, thank you for this great job. Uh, thank you for your clinical work and experience, because sometimes we speak with Dr. Pawan about some uh, interesting clinical things, and this is very good. Uh, but let's start from uh, today our topic. Uh, this is FMG. Uh, education in our university, how we try to <laughs> make success for our students uh, in this field. I want to tell you that the presentation will be not very big because really I prepared another topic, but uh, it's very good that each time I have something that I can show. 
Okay, okay, I will start demonstration. You see presentation, yes? Yes, the presentation is clear and visible, sir. Uh, slides uh, changing? Yes, yes they're they are changing. changing. Oh, very good, thank you. Okay, uh, we speak about uh, preparing students for FMG uh, government examination. Uh, exam uh, which our graduates need to pass uh, after coming back home and um, one thing uh, you need to understand this is program of education in Russian Federation that in June will be government exams and uh, nothing can be changed but uh, as we know in finishing of June um, can be uh, government examination FMG and it means that students will miss this examination because they need to pass government exam and get diploma from our university after this make everything needful with their documents and they can come uh, and uh, give these documents to NMC commission it means that they will pass uh, FMG first time in December and uh, we look forward into this. Uh, we know that uh, students after coming need to uh, prolong their preparation even at home. And we speak with students. Of course, uh, some part of uh, students don't need any preparation at home after uh, graduation from uh, highest medical university. If they studied well and university is good. Our university good, uh, that it's good I believe you will understand after all our topics about which we will speak and after our coming uh, to India directly, we believe that in July we will come. Uh, but about students, it depends on student. If student is very good, sometimes it's not needful, any preparation. If student know that some black holes in his ed education, he or she has, it means that preparation must be in India. I will show we work with some coaching centers and even if this is student of our university um, uh, he can get uh, even some discount because uh, coaching firms they like uh, to educate students from good universities with good level of knowledge it's easy to pre uh, to educate to uh, make good result with such students uh, in our university, what uh, we performed, first of all, first of all, years ago, we looked into um, books of FMG uh, tests, of FMG curriculum, uh, and we take this test to our educational process. We gave this test to all departments, uh, and we asked them to uh, study uh, this test during classes, um, to understand what specific in this test, how they perform, what they want from student. And I can tell you in FMG, this is a typical simple test. This is direct question with only one positive answer. This is main test which performed in FMG education. And what we done, for example, uh, for our graduates, government examination was all one of the steps. This is always test. Uh, uh, testimonium and we performed same as FMG. This is simple, direct question with a one positive answer. It means that we will ask what must be, and this is positive answer. We will not ask what is not uh, proper in this list. We're not asking this test and FMG don't ask the same. It means that during education on all departments, students will face with such tests, not only made by our teachers, they will work with tests from uh, your syllabus, from different years syllabus of FMG government examination. We have, because we have these books and when we will come in July, we will get new one of course, for future preparation. This is first. Uh, second, on next meetings, I will show what we performed in our educational process. We uh, changed some departments. We performed, for example, 
especially for Indian students, Department of Internal Diseases. It works with Indian students fully on fifth and sixth years. On fifth years, this is nosological preparation. On sixth year, this is syndromatic preparation of internal diseases. Because this is internal disease, one of the big part of uh, topic of clinical medicine in structure of FMG government examination. Next, we understood uh, after working with uh, teachers from India, and you can see on this slide, this is arrivals of teachers from India with courses of lectures on preparation for exam, uh, different topics uh, was performed. I will show you slides, not only anatomy, physiology, microbiology. This is, was focus of first years of our work. Anatomy, physiology, microbiology, needful for young students. Uh, that's why it's written here. Uh, after working with these teachers, I understood that structure of FMG, 22 different blocks. Not everyone is very needful. It's needful to know, of course but not very one will play biggest role in the result of FMG. And we understood three main disciplines and six extra. It, and we tell this to our students, we make focus on these disciplines because if they will um, uh, learn more hard these nine disciplines, percentage of passing of FMG will be very high from 60 up to 80 persons of positive result. This is another one thing. Uh, we know how this exam is performed. And even me, when I was in uh, some coaching center uh, two years ago, they performed uh, examination of me. And it was like a joke. It was interesting to me too. They gave me uh, some amount of tests. I gave my answer and my result was good. Uh, I was happy that uh, maybe I can pass not some small block which they gave to me, maybe I can pass fully FMG from first attempt. Uh, no, here you can see this is a rival of teacher um, Dr. Bramnish Sitara. It was the course of lectures uh, by microbiology, which I showed a uh, slide before. It was in uh, 17. 2017, yeah. Uh, this is, was at the framework of the program of academic mobility, but um, it was very good that Department of Microbiology, which on this photo, this is main thing which I want to show you. Here present teachers from this department, and this is main thing. Each time when we perform courses of FMG preparation with a program of academic mobility with teachers from India, we try to connect department to these courses because this is a um, good experience. They can get uh, some skills. No one can tell that he knows everything. No teacher, no teacher who uh, will come to us, no teacher who work uh, in our university. Each time this is education and medicine, which we are choose, this is education for full for all of our life. But that's why we make education of teachers on these lectures too. <clears throat> this was uh, clinical medicine here, you can find. And uh, uh, another focus which we make uh, during this uh, preparation of students, it was 2020, directly uh, 2020, 2019, this was 2019, directly before starting of COVID situation all around the world uh, after New Year. Uh, we got this small period of time before starting of spreading of infection when we uh, asked uh, lectures by clinical medicine here uh, and pathology and uh, normal physiology is here uh, to come and to make this um, course of education for our students. Um, you can see how many students present here. And this is not because they want to come. Uh, but lectures is very interesting, but you need to understand that student is, is student. This is normal. He's young. 
he want to have more free time uh, he want to meet with his friends and so on this is fully normal but we look into results and we wait result not from only from our from us from our teachers but we look result from our students too because if you are a student of foreign state medical university you will be with this flag for all of our your life you are part of university this is your second home and your face of university and your face must be clean clever and shiny that's why we try and uh, really i'm as a dean i telling each time to students you must be on these lectures this is like rule and don't disturb this rule because it performs specially for you to help you to pass this exam that's why we wait from you same and you can see that uh, no, uh, normal physiology this is second year this is young students in another campus i will show you on our next meetings uh, we have uh, at different uh, hostels uh, two big nine floor hostels in one mostly this is students of younger courses in another one um, and this is students of uh, elder courses elder courses live in the campus big campus of university in the center of the city young students live um, uh, in this building but this building near um, another campus of university too 200 uh, 300 meters before this building and the campus and main thing that this building uh, near biggest uh, our city mall and this is very good for young students at the time of their adaptation because it's easy to come at one place to buy everything that not to travel in the city if you don't know fully the city uh, young and all the students are present on this lecture so we make focus on this and look <coughs> who came who not came another one thing this is dr ashutosh who came with a cycle of pathology lectures and this is one of the founders of team motivation coaching center i wasn't in motivation i told you about this already and they wait our students uh, uh, during preparation for these lectures no this is uh, preparation by pharmacology by dr yadav dinesh kumar uh, and you can see this is fifth and sixth year this is uh, course which must come because soon they will be doctors but for my pharmacology this is subject of third year for third year we told guys you uh, study pharmacology right now if you want to come you can but for six, uh, fifth and sixth year uh, all course must be on this lecture listen uh, and understand what material is needful in fmg examination from pharmacology next uh, what i want to show you uh, this is our graduates uh, who can get a red diploma uh, or someone who already got this is uh, pretendants for this year uh, for students and this is students who already got and if you will look uh, on the middle bar maximal middle bar uh, from all subjects um, which calculated and divided at the number of subjects is 5.0 and you can look one of the student got this dipti uh, i think um, 4.96 4.92 4.85 and so on it means that really indian students uh, can study very good if they want if they want but we try to make everything uh, for this success 20 students uh, with red diploma next what is needful for you um, this is results of fmg which we can show uh, and i can tell you um, and you can find this information in internet 
that really uh, our university showed their worst result among all Russian higher education institutions, which range from 30 percent and more. Uh, at this year will be fourth graduation of the faculty. It means all of the three graduations was and the students uh, came into the process of uh, FMG examination. Pre uh, but one thing I want to tell you that previously and uh, each year it's calculated like this, only those who applied and passed the exam were taken into account. But now uh, we have calculated the percentage of all graduates, not only of first attempt of uh, everyone who applied application for passing. And I can show that from graduates of 2019, it was 65 students, uh, 51 already passed from first, from second attempt, from third attempt. 78 persons of our students passed uh, FMG exam from graduation of 2019. Graduates of uh, 2020, this, it was uh, 58 students. 44 already passed, this is 75 persons. And from 2021, this is uh, 84 students, already passed uh, 39, this is near 30, uh, 46 persons of students. You must understand this is first attempt. <laughs> because only in December they can. Next attempt will be in June. Thank you for your attention. If any questions, I can answer on them. Yeah, thank you very much. I think, you know, what is important for me to highlight to the students here is that you see by the time you appear for your second attempt, more than 75% of students studying in Arunbal State Medical University qualify their FMG, which is a remarkable achievement. And this has been possible because Ordenburg State Medical University, headed by its dean, takes personal interest in your academics. It ensures that the curriculum which is being followed is not only the curriculum that you are taught there, but it actually integrates the curriculum of the National Medical Commission so that you are taught subjects which possibly may not be covered in the curriculum if you want to take it in isolation in Russia. So they have integrated the National Medical Commission curriculum with their own curriculum and you get the best of both the worlds. So actually you, you acquire much more knowledge than what you would acquire in India itself. Thirdly, the third most important thing is that not only the teaching methodologies are modern, but also they give you chance to come to India and do observership in various private and government hospitals so that you learn about the disease spectrum, the disease profile, and the healthcare delivery system of India. These are various factors which have actually blended together to give such marvelous results. And I think we are very grateful to you, Professor Anton, for taking such initiatives in Orenburg State Medical University and making it one of the leading institutions for higher pass percentages by the time you reach your second attempt, if you have 75% success, it is a wonderful achievement. And I salute you for that, Dr. Anton. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah, Dr. Thank Dinesh. You. Thank you, Dr. Pavan. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, Anton Olegovich, for such a comprehensive uh, discussion about the efforts that you have put into uh, the studying of Indian students at your university. And yes, it is completely evident from the results that we get in the foreign medical graduate examination, where Orenburg State Medical University gives the best results when it comes to foreign medical graduate examination. Uh, sir, we have some questions uh, from students. One is yes. from can, Mr. Can... Sahil. Uh, uh... Dr. Dinesh, if you will allow, uh, I will try to ask first of all on two questions, which was in the group of uh, questions and answers, okay? Because this yes. is directly not in chat. And Kit Singh, he asked, uh, sir, what is the procedure to get practicing license in uh, Russia? Russia with big word air. This is country. Dear Ankit and... Uh, 
uh, it, it will be good for Indian students and how much time it will take. Okay, it's not uh, uh, secret information. You can pass accreditation in our country directly after government examination, but you need to understand. And this happened with all Russian graduates, with all Russian speakers, with citizens of our country. If you want to get letters in our country, you must make same as our citizens. Mostly Indian students pass only government examination. This is enough for them. They um, get diploma of our university, government diploma. One more time, we are government university, not private. And with this government uh, diploma, they can come back to India or some of students I know, uh, they travel to in other countries for accreditation of other countries and make accreditation in country in which they choose. If you want in our country, you must go through accreditation of our country. If, on, if in government examination, uh, for example, test on English, we got this permission and we tried to make this each year for our students. Simulation on Russian. But this is not problem. We prepare students and ev everyone mostly pass. This government examination, we try our best. But in accreditation, full exam is on Russian. This is accreditation of country for getting of license for practical work in our country. Our citizens is Russian speakers. You need to understand this. And all 5,000 tests which you need to study will be on Russian. Is it real? Yes, it's real. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five graduates who passed accreditation and they got the accreditation license of our country. Right now in our university, uh, in ordinary ship, you know, this is after graduation courses, study for students who want to stay in our country and work as doctors. That's why it's real. It depends on your want. If you want, you can, but you need to prepare because work will be very hard. Uh, Antonio so, Legovich, uh, uh, suppose if anybody wants to give this accreditation exam, uh, after exam, how much time it takes to get the license? Uh, it, it takes time. Yes, really. Two months, near two months, because um, in July, this accreditation is going on. This is first part of July. Uh, near uh, 14, 15, uh, 11, 12 of July. This is last dates of uh, last step of accreditation. And mostly, ah, uh, directly after accreditation, you will get um, a document that you passed accreditation. From this moment, you can start finding job and uh, try to make contract with clinic. Yes, this document is enough. But license of accreditation, you will get mostly in September. Okay, so suppose uh, students, uh, like uh, if they get a uh, license in September, they can appear for foreign medical graduate examination, which is uh, held usually in the month of December. Uh, yes, sir. Next question is uh, from Mr. Anket, who says, how many Indian students are studying in Orenburg State Medical University? Uh, uh, from uh, Sahil. What I wait what I wait from graduates of this year. Uh, I, I wait best results from graduates of this year, but uh, <coughs> let's look truly. Uh, I wait that the result will be not less than 30 persons. Yes, but this is a baseline we, uh, to which we already came and we try to save this baseline, 30%. This is very good result. Yes, it will yes. be higher. Very nice. It mustn't be lower. It and, will not be lower. And each year we have more graduates. You showed statistic, yes. yes. And this year we have 141. But um, we will have 139 students, two students not allowed to pass government exam because they missed many classes uh, by some subjects. I can tell you it's real, it's uh, hard pain to me too, because uh, 
this is child uh, who was uh, with me from first course uh, and uh, this is terrible but yes they need to study one semester more yes it's real because they missed they missed some classes but 139 this is very big amount and the percentage of students who are satisfactory who good who are excellent can be not same as in group of uh, 80 students this is a different statistic but i know that good students present and the level will, will not be less than 30. and sir what is the total number of indian students studying in orenburg state medical university right now more than 1200 more than 1200 indian students yes okay. in our university more than 1200 of indian students and uh, totally more than 3500 uh, 3, on of foreign students because not only indian students study in our university okay so total of 3500 international students and uh, out of which 1200 students are from india uh, so yes. the next question uh, is from a student uh, who has cleared his class 12th in 2020 and two times he gave neat exam this time also he is preparing uh, so suppose this time he uh, does not get a seat in india can he get admission in orenburg state medical university this is a very hard question very interesting about uh, attempts of neat exam because you know that in um, let's tell recommendations of an mc this is only one attempt but two years uh, in the history of india by the decision uh, was given permission to pass neat one more time if you graduate at the year at which was permission to pass need one more time because of some mistakes in procedure or something else, you can get admission. I think okay. this is truly and uh, uh, real answer on this question. Yes, thank you so much, sir. Sir, we have a student named Aditi. She is asking, is our education totally in English language? If yes, how long it will take me to learn Russian language? Hmm. Okay, very nice question. I not tell anything directly about uh, English language because uh, this is another topic of our meetings, of our conferences, educational. But education six years of English language. And my face will not be, uh, become red when I telling these words because this is real. And even clinicians, even on six year, they work on English language. Not everyone has such English language, for example, as me, but they speak on English. They understand what they're telling. They tell full information that same for Russian students on English. This is enough for education. Uh, maybe they will not tell poems on English language, some teachers, but uh, uh, practical material which they must they will tell uh, next part of this question was um, well, one about English it was, yes it, it was about uh, how long it will take ah, us Russian language. to learn yes. Russian yes thank you thank you how long two weeks if you will study this is enough and it was um, a surprise for me too when i became a dean it was years ago uh, it was uh, really not understandable how teachers of russian language department uh, at this year many years ago mostly they don't speak english imagine they not speak english indians came they speak only russian and they study russian to them without any middle language and really it's better than to use middle language it showed that if they don't know english language they will not use english they will use only russian simply as with childs 
But right now uh, we have half of teachers of Russian language who are English speakers too. And for example, three years ago, I came uh, after admission, after starting of classes in uh, 1st of November. Classes were started in middle of November. I came to campus where Russian language is going on. I came to the group and what I saw, students standing near the desk, teacher uh, took in her arms a book, she telling Russian text and student write this text on the desk. You understand? It means that he not only heard, he understood and he write these words on the desk. That's why if you want two weeks and you will speak minimally Russian. <coughs> After two months, you will speak with citizens uh, of Orenburg. Thank you, That's sir. all. That's all. Depends, depends on you. We give uh, enough amount of Russian language for a living in our city and for working with patient. This is the main thing. If you want to work with patient, you really need to know Russian language. Thank you, sir. So again, one more most commonly asked questions nowadays. Is Russia safe for Indian students? It's fully safe. This is main answer. It's fully safe. Nothing happened in our country. Thank even you. even even cost of products is lower than in many countries around. Yes, it was time when it, it's increased, no, like everywhere, because you need to understand this is three very hard years to full world. Very hard years. Each year something happened. Each year. But uh, about safeness, about which you're asking, it's fully safe. Nothing happened in our country. And our students in Nuremberg, they study, they pass in exams. Uh, we made, made meeting uh, in spring with parents because everyone was afraid, a rector and me. We spoke with parents. Uh, we showed uh, videos from classes. We asked teachers to record videos. And I can tell you, uh, maybe on some meeting, uh, I will show even. Uh, some students joked, they, uh, during recording of video, they uh, showed that everything is good here, peace, don't afraid parents, and so on. We not asked them. They told us by themselves. That's why don't afraid. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, next question is uh, from Sagar. Uh, sir, does university has cadavers? Cadavers, yes. Yes. We are one of the historical universities who work with uh, biological material. And this is very good. We work not only with cadavers, we even work uh, with animals, uh, uh, for example, on the Department of Topographical Anatomy and Operative Surgery, you will have real operations. You will have operative days, minimally three. Where one of the days will be operation on intestine. And you will make operation on uh, animals. This is dogs or rabbits or cats, depends on which animal will be allowed uh, at this day. On anatomy, you will work with cadaver material, different cadaver materials, uh, full cadaver, part of cadavers, plastinates we have, especially for my faculty, they was bought by university. That's why, yes, you will work, we have. Thank you so much. Uh, sir, one more question from Mr. Sagar about withdrawal of money that they say the cards or something, they, they cannot withdraw money. So is the problem still there or has this been resolved? Right now, for example, uh, think of bank uh, make uh, transactions between countries and uh, everything is, wor is working <coughs> normally. Next, uh, we know about union pay and it works in our country. That's why if you want, you can. A third uh, way which was I used by students in big amount. This is crypto money. Yes, uh, it works. 
and it works so good that even uh, in your country uh, some rules uh, of crypto changing and crypto transactions was changed and you make uh, some payment to government even because it really works if you want only two things you need to have you need to have account in india you need to have account in russian federation that's all so i think the students you should understand that uh, when there is a question always people government they find a solution to that so yes in the beginning there was a small issue about money withdrawal but it has been resolved sir again one more question about the recent uh, change in the rules and regulations of russia that foreign students can now practice or they can work while they are studying so sir some students are asking what are the yes. job possibilities or when can they work from which yes. year yes yes thank you dr dinesh about this question yes you can work and this possibility you have at the time uh, when you are not on classes you can find uh, work by your profession it means that you can work as medical brother medical sister you can work an ambulance but uh, you need to understand one thing who will give you permission hospital will give chief of the hospital will give to whom he will give to good students not to everyone you need to show that you are skilled student that you really future doctor if it will yes you you will find the job this is in your hands university will not make anything to not to permit this work if you will find if you will get permission if this hospital want you as a worker okay you can okay thank you so much sir uh, so students yes uh, as per the new rules and regulations of russian federation now the students can also work but yes as sir has told you as professor anton has told you that you can work only in your free time uh, so what is how you define free time is up to you uh, it's uh, after your classes after you prepare for your next day classes after you prepare your food and if there is some time left after you clean your room and uh, wash your clothes yes you can uh, work so it is allowed officially it is allowed uh, but yes medical students it is a difficult life it is a difficult profession that is why it is so noble profession so you have if you take time if you get time you can work it is allowed by the government so don't don't worry uh, so sir these were all the questions and yes aditi is very thankful to you for guiding her about the russian language and she is saying sir i hope that you will teach us russian language um, so uh, aditi uh, sir is not uh, sir will teach you yes the, he will also teach you uh, apart from russian language many other things that are required for you uh, to become a good doctor and uh, he is always there to help you with anything any questions that you have any doubts that you have thank you so much professor antonio legovic uh, i request air marshal dr pavan kapoor sir to please thank professor antonio legovic and orenburg state medical university for playing such a critical role in the lives of future doctors of india thank you dinesh yes it's my privilege to thank professor anton and his team for doing such a wonderful work with the students you see they make you complete doctors you don't only become a doctor by profession you become a human humane doctor so they make you a complete human being they inculcate lot of ethical practices in you lot of moral building exercises they do for you and they are very strict let me tell you this and uh, nothing happens with if you are not disciplined so they inculcate a sense of discipline in you so all it's for me to say that dear students those who are already studying you are in right hands in orenburg state medical university those who are wanting to join any medical school in russia then this is the school to join so this is the place which will get you highest percentage of passing your fmg and this is the place where you got the highest chance and the greatest probability 
of passing your FMG and the next examination if it happens from next year onwards. So all it is for me to thank you, Professor Anton, for being here with us once again, for being a part of, uh, I'll say, Indian diaspora in Russia. Okay. So thank you, thank you very thank much. You. And thank you, dear students and participants. Thank you, Dinesh, and thank you, Priya. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Uh, once again, thank you, Professor Antonio Lagovic, for joining us today and guiding the students about the preparations for foreign medical graduates uh, from India studying MBBS at your university. Thank you, A. Marshall, Dr. Pavan Kapoor, for, their being, uh, for being there for all the students uh, whenever they require, whenever they have uh, any problems, any issues, you're always there. So for all the students who are joining us this, uh, for this live session, Thank you so much for your time. And I hope you got some brief idea about the foreign medical graduate examination and the preparations that are being carried out at Orenburg State Medical University to help you clear this exam in first or maximum by second attempt. Thank you so much for joining us. In case you have any doubts, any questions, any queries related to MBBS in Russia in Orenburg State Medical University, please contact us on our student helpline number which is one eight double zero eight double three double three three eight, or you can visit our website www.ruseducation.in and you can get information about the university's admission procedure and eligibility criteria also. Thank you so much. Thank you, to Professor Anton. Thank you, Air Marshal Dr. Pavan Kapoor, and thank you all the students. Take care. Stay safe. Jai Hind. Thank you.